Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program to calculate the discount rate offered by a cloth showroom using if else construct. So first, we are going to see a question. A cloth showroom has announced festival discounts and the gifts on the purchase of items based on the total cost as given as given below that means you are going to get the total cost as input from the user and you are going to verify with the criteria as given below as a table and you are going to do calculate the discount rate as well as the and display the gift what the what you are going to get based on the total cost now you can see the uh, first row up to 2000 if the total cost is up to 2000 the discount percentage is 5 percentage and then the gift we are going to get is calculator so you are going to display the gift as calculator and then if, if the total cost is between 2001 and 5000 then the discount uh, percentage is 10 percentage and the gift is pull back if the total cost is uh, in between 5001 and 10000 then the discount percentage is 15 and the gift is wall clock and suppose if the total cost is above 10000 then the discount amount, uh, discount percentage is 20 uh, 20 20 percent and the gift what you're going to get is wristwatch write a program to input the total cost okay that means you're going to get the in total cost from the user compute and display the amount to be paid by the customer along with the gift that means you're going to uh, not only find the discount you are going to uh, display that is calculate the amount to be paid that means after re uh, re reducing the discount amount the balance amount what you are going to get it from the customer you are going to display that that is the amount to be paid okay along with the gift so uh, let's see the program so in blue i created a program you can see first line import java dot digital dot scanner uh, that is the uh, keyword used to get the scanner class which is available in uh, yeah, java.util package and then you got a class title that is uh, public class cloth showroom is the class name and inside that you got public static void main where you have to create the program the first line inside public static void main is a scanner uh, se equal to new scanner system.in uh, this line is used to get the create the object so that you can get the tokens as input and store it into the variable and you got some couple of uh, variables declared uh, declared as double because you got some uh, calculations which is based on percentage that means you are going to divide some numbers so if there is a possibility you may get some decimal values so uh, decided to use double as the variable so you have cost okay that is the total cost you are going to get it from the user then you are going to calculate the discount and store it into a variable discount initializing it as 0.0, .0 that is the default value and the final amount after discount what the customer has to pay that will be stored in amount that is being initialized as 0.0, .0. then you are going to store the gift into a variable gift so that no need to uh, keep on displaying that uh, gift in every if, if uh, or else clause you can store the value in gift and so that you can display it once at after completing the if else part after calculating all the discount and then you can display it as a, as a single statement so that's the reason i use this as a variable to store the uh, value which is given as string and it is the uh, default value is uh, open and close double quotes so first thing you are going to do is get the input that is total cost from the user so enter the total cost and you are going to get a double uh, token value and will be stored into the variable cost next line you can see the if statement if the cost is less than or equal to 2000 so that is the first line so the discount amount has to be calculated this way so here cost into 5 percentage so 5 percentage can be written as 5 by 100 so for uh, the total cost 5 percentage is the discount amount so so cost into 5 by 100 the amount what you are going to get will be stored in discount and the gift you are going to get is calculator that will be stored into a variable gift okay if suppose the amount is greater than 2000 then it go to this condition will not be satisfied that it will be false so once it is false it will enter the else part so else part again you have an if statement that is uh, it will check the cost between 
2001 and 5000 that is cos greater than or equal to 2000 and cos uh, less than or equal to 5000 then the discount amount will be calculated as cost into 10 by 100 that is 10 percentage so cost into 10 percentage you can be written as 10 by 100 okay the amount will be stored in uh, discount and then the gift will be stored as school bag if the uh, total cost is greater than uh, 5000 then this condition also will be false so we will go to the next condition that is else if uh, the total cost that is cost is greater than 5001 and cost less than or equal to 10000 then it will uh, uh, calculate the discount amount that is cost into 15 by 100 so 15 by 100 is nothing but 15 percentage so you have to write uh, this way that is cost into 15 by 100 and the gift value will be a wall clock that will be stored in gift and suppose the uh, cost is uh, greater than 10,000 then the first condition will be false, second condition will be false, third also will be false then we will go to the last condition that is the cost is greater than 10,000 so this will be true so anyway whatever amount you give will be greater than if, uh, if it is greater than 10,000 then it will be uh, executing this part so here discount equal to cost into 20 by 100 that is there is nothing but 20 percentage of, of the cost total cost will be stored in discount and the gift you are going to give is wristwatch so after completing all this you are going to display a bill so before display uh, displaying the bill you are going to calculate the amount to be paid by the customer that is amount uh, amount equal to cost minus discount so the cost will be some amount okay uh, after getting the discount you have to subtract that and then you have to store the amount which is going to be paid by the user that is uh, minus discount okay the amount minus discount so you are going to display system out printer line discount you are going to display the discount and then because you already got the cost when you input the value so immediately you can print the discount and then you are going to display the gift system out printer line gift uh, plus gift that will be the way a value which is stored according to the condition here it automatically store the gift value and then finally the amount uh, to be paid by the customer is displayed is displayed which is stored under amount so uh, let's check with some uh, values so compile the program so no syntax errors so execute it so first i'm going to give the total cost as 1789 okay and because you may not have exact uh, round value round of value it may be some values like this so you can see discount amount is 89.45 and the gift is calculator and the amount to be paid after subtracting from the total cost is 1699.55 okay uh, this is the value you're going to get so i'm going to execute it again to check the next criteria so this will be between uh, 2000 to uh, 5000 so i am giving it as 3 4 5 8 Okay, so the uh, discount amount is 345.8 and the uh, gift is school back and amount to be paid after subtracting is 3112.2. Okay, so next is going to compile and uh, execute the program and the give, uh, give the value uh, above 5000. Say I am giving it a 7299. Uh, so you can say the discount amount is 10194, uh, that is 1094.85. And the gift is wall clock and the amount to be paid after subtracting the value is 6204.15. And then the final value about 10,000. So I'm going to compile and uh, execute it again. So I'm giving say 12,599. Uh, I can see the discount amount is uh, 2519.8 and the gift is wristwatch and the amount to be paid by the customer is uh, 10,079.2. So this is the value to be paid by the customer. So uh, you got all the outputs, uh, different uh, category values are given, okay, according to the criteria it is displaying the discount amount as well as the uh, uh, gift along with the amount to be paid by the customer. So if you understood this program, we will meet you in the next video, till then, thank you.